find it hilarious that the Bills drafted a running back nicknamed Motor, and we have a lineman named Ford, and no one's made the connection. I know, right? <laughs> for those of, uh, for those who aren't supportive of uh, of Ford, and perhaps are Chevy or you know GMC guys, <laughs> if if they both end up on IR, they're just gonna look at it and go figures. <laughs> Just a matter of time. Fords. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind. Until that car got fixed, you just you start driving a Chevy Niseki. <laughs> I'm just entertaining myself tonight. You guys do what you want. So if we're comparing the offensive linemen to vehicles, we're in agreement that Dawkins is the Kia, right? No. No, he's not a Kia. Nope. What? Nope. Why not? He is a uh, Jeep 4x4 with the, uh, with the top off in the middle of December in Buffalo. <laughs> no, no, no. I got There's it. There's just wind passing through all of that. I got it. He's the Jeep that you see with no doors on because he gets them blown off every week. <laughs> Follow us again, Dawkins. I dare you. Morris is the car at the shop that needs a new head gasket but still gets the job done. <laughs> oh, my God. Definitely a V8 Hemi. Yeah. Because he gets out there really fast. Quentin Spain is that 975 Buick Mercury Grand Marquis. (laughs) With the plush interior. Gets four miles to the gallon. You need to go down a hill to get it to 40. What's Feliciano? Feliciano is that Ford Tempo with the Porsche (laughs) engine that your buddy souped up and you know, shows up to races, everyone just kind of laughs and he smokes everybody because you just don't see it coming. I could just see you saying that Zay Jones is the race car without a spoiler. Doesn't catch anything. <laughs> Should we start the episode now? <laughs> After you hit that subscribe bell, be sure to head over to Sportscaster and join us every Saturday at 8 a.m. You can give that one a shot again. Okay, but if we can be serious. There was a topic here somewhere. There was a topic. It started, it started, uh, started on the field, ended up in the junkyard. Uh, Cody that's where Ford. That's where the, the Bills have built most of their offensive lines the past few years anyway. Yeah. So you got the Buffalo Bills. Uh, they're, they're playing a little bit of ring, I don't know. Carousel. Carousel. I was going to say ring around the rosy. Not the same thing. Totally not. I understand. It's been uh, two pumpkin spice donuts and I'm white girl wasted. That's it. <laughs> he needs to learn. I understand he needs to learn. And Feliciano's playing at a level right now where you just can't bump him down no. to learn. No. But that, I think, would be the best. If you're just talking about the kid learning, putting him next to Niseki would be the best education you can get on the field. You yeah. get baptized by fire with that. But you can't do that because... Feliciano's playing so Feliciano's good. Feliciano's playing well, so Feliciano's well. Feliciano's making all the line calls. Like, you just... He's running that offensive line right now. And he looks great. Until Morris comes up to, to up to speed. And I, I don't know. I, it's I probably just a matter of time. But I, oh, yeah, yeah. I Feliciano's going to be no stuff. reason to not play him. He's, exactly. the best, he's the best lineman that you have right now. And then Spain re- redeemed himself. I can't. I'm still shocked. Shocked. To see Quentin Spain, ten yards downfield, motoring, mm-hmm. Mo- like that was you. Like, you got like a piano getting dropped down a flight of stairs. <laughs> Hauling. You have to make a business decision when you see sixty-seven pulling and getting a full head start on you. The question one is, does he have a neck? Question two is, why does he want to kill me? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Did I leave a sip of orange juice in the fridge? I'm dead. I, you know what I'm going to do? I love what was Spain again. Spain? Here's the 75 <laughs> Mercury Grand Marquis. The plush interior. Why do you have a 447 <laughs> in, the, in the tempo? No one's going to expect it. Yeah. <laughs> no one ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. 
So do you you don't like the carousel? I don't like the carousel. No. I think he needs to learn. I think that the, the three interior guys are playing so well right now yeah. that <clears throat> you're kind of fearful of the fact of. I mean, I kind of flinched today when Naseki was on the ground. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, that yep. can't be good. Um. So then Ford went back in. But uh, you know, but truthfully speaking, for that being a timeshare right now, you would think it would be a disaster. No. It hasn't been. No. It's because it could be because of the subpar competition. Mm-hmm. It could be because that they're they're not only the player the skill players are getting put in a position to be successful, but these guys they're calling plays that are tailored toward the lineman's strength. Mm-hmm. You don't see them running off right tackle too much. No. Which is usually back in the yeah, day was the power running side. Right. Now what they're doing is they're running along the left side. They're letting Dawkins that speed rusher that wants to always go around Dawkins who can. Yeah. They're letting him take that wide right. pull. They're pulling Spain back around, and they're giving that uh, inside handoff to Singletary or Gore, right. and, and he's just follow the big man. Yep. Follow, not hard to do that. Follow the dryer. Yeah, not hard to do that. So, um, I mean, I, I like that look. So you're, you're blocking. You're, oh, no, not, I'm sorry. Feliciano's pulling that way. Um, I made a mistake. But you got – and worse. I mean, he's pulling both He's pulling both ways. Yep. That's a way you could circumvent a line and, and maybe hide a few things because if you're not just blocking that thing straight up, if you got Morris coming around that's, that's around Ford, if he's playing right tackle, that's one way you can – hey, if he loses his man, you still got Morris there to leave. Well, and that's what we saw a few years ago with with um, when we had uh, Aaron Cromer, right? Because we talked about, oh, John Miller's playing great. Oh, you know, the line – this line's looking great. It, the line wasn't – the line wasn't amazingly skilled. It's just the concept – they figured out a way to minimize risk with their offensive line. Yes. And it worked. Right and losing Aaron Cromer um, was a big deal. Look, Cromer goes to the Rams and look at the run game they have. Amazing. Anybody, right. anybody you put in there, it's, it's it successful. doesn't matter. It so. doesn't matter. But um, you know, if I, I run into a small problem here because while I do want Cody Ford to learn, I still want Ty Nasecki playing right tackle, and I you can't lose John Feliciano. You can't. And, and Quentin <laughs> Spain played great today. The, 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 yeah. But one thing that I think started a lot with Spain being able to pull the way that he did and we'll have to go back and watch it once we actually have a chance to really look at the film yeah. but that that Jets there that Giants line stunted a lot oh yeah Dude, we, we saw they it stunted a lot we saw it to Spain I know but all I'm going to say it is because he had a little trouble mm-hmm. you want to try to go after the weak link in that line well I don't know why you'd ever want to go over to Spain he gets his hands on you might as well just call it a day and uh, the same thing with Ford and Nasecki you know these guys they get their hand you get their you're done you're done. Not not in years past. The number one thing you have now with the Buffalo Bills, you have options. Yep. And we saw in practice with the Buffalo Bills this past week, I think it was uh, Sal posted it, they were doing a warm-up drill, which we, they had to <clears throat> switch mm-hmm. whoever they were blocking. Yep. And I thought that was a great drill because you have a young line, not like not so much young, but not, not so much inexperienced. we got a line that's new to playing all five of them across because right. in camp it didn't really happen very much. Because Morse was out. So yep. now you have the ability to make – they're making communication within each other to – all right, switch it, switch it, switch it. And a great test because two, two reasons why you stunt. You have an inexperienced offensive line, mm-hmm. and you don't think your defensive line is good enough to rush up straight up. Right. So uh, the Bills will do that as a bonus with their defensive line. Mm-hmm. Other teams have to do that against the Bills. Out of necessity. Beat it. Yeah. So that's the greatest part about the line. And, and like I said before, they have options. If Feliciano goes down, Ford can go right in there. Right. Guard. Yep. If if Ford goes down at right tackle, God forbid, you got Naseki. If Spain goes out, I, Long's still on the wings. No, Long's still on this team. Yep. And you got Bates mm-hmm. as well. Um, if Dawkins goes down, I mean, you got Naseki. Mm-hmm. So and there's a lot of versatility uh, if injuries were to occur. Right, mm-hmm. but in an ideal world, you have to rebuild your offensive line right now for the rest of the season because you have to make a decision soon what you're going to do. What's your offensive line look like? The general narrative, and I don't take a lot of things from Colin Coward, Cowherd, Coward, whatever. I don't care. Um, I don't take a lot of things from him, but he thought he brought up a great point on his show one time. There's three guys that you have to get and solidify first on your team: mm-hmm. quarterback guy to protect quarterback, mm-hmm. guy to get quarterback. Mm-hmm. At those positions right now, you have Allen, Dawkins, and Hughes. Mm-hmm. 
Hughes was not good today. Uh, not good against the Giants. No, he was not good. He, I, I wouldn't say he wasn't good. It just didn't. It just play, it didn't play out for him. But Trent Murphy was more effective because Trent Murphy, all Trent Murphy was doing was like, okay, well, I'm going to push Barkley inside. So that's yeah. all. That's all Murphy was doing. Is he's I'm, I'm going to take this right tackle for a ride, and I'm going to push him out to the gap, and Barkley's either going to have to run around me or he's going to have to cut it inside. How about Johnson? Just pushing the pocket the way he did. Um, I expect mm-hmm. Hughes to have a much better week next week against yeah. the third left tackle that they have. I know. Me so too. he's going to have an explosive game. I, I foresee that. But as far as this offensive line, I think after this Bengals game, that you can run the carousel one more week if you want, I think. Yeah. And if you if you go up, then you can start putting some of these other guys in their different positions. Mm-hmm. Okay, you go up 21 by the half. It's 21 nothing. let's say. You're up on the Bengals. Mm-hmm. In the second, you put your helmet away. We're going to put Ford at right tackle for the rest of the game for him to learn. Okay. That's but do you, but anytime you play with your offensive line, you're risking the franchise under center. I understand that because then if you're up 21, then you go up 28. What's the say? You're going to be we'll running the Barkley ball. In. You're going to be running the we'll ball. Or put in Barkley there. in. That's one. Two is <clears throat> um, if you don't have the confidence in the guy to, to play that position, he's not going to be out there anyway. Well, here's an interesting question. In the unlikely circumstance, the Bills are up 28 points. Do they have the depth at running back to run the football? Or does it become the Frank or TJ Yeldon show? It becomes the Frank or TJ Yeldon show. Yeah, right. It but we more of the TJ Yeldon, a Patrick DeMarco show. Yeah, but we saw Singletary limp off today and Yeldon still didn't see the field. It was more of an inside power running game at the time he got hurt. Sure. Yeah. So, you're right. I mean, I know you feel more comfortable with Gore in that, in that scenario sure. rather than yeah. uh, Singletary. Yeah. But Absolutely, I do. I totally spaced out that your car was at my house. Yeah, you keep I, driving I around. Was, yeah. I so, yeah. I'm so sorry about that. No, it's I okay. I get home and everything. That's but, all right. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, You're just so used to leaving it at Timmy Ho's. Yes. I was just yeah. up, I'm uh, in the zone, man. The good old days. Oh, look. All our fans must be there. Yeah, the place is banging. That would be so funny if people were there. <laughs> We're going to go back we to We used to old... film at this one Tim Hortons in Niagara Falls because nobody watched the post-game show for, like, the first half of the season. Oh, God. And it was just us. There's a bunch of two Yahoo showing up ordering donuts and coffee and setting up a webcam and just talking football using their Wi-Fi. So I'm not saying we weren't welcome, but we weren't not welcome. We weren't soliciting there because that's the word, right? We weren't sitting there, but we actually purchased loitering. item. Loitering. Loitering. Okay. Soliciting, you can go to jail for. <laughs> loitering. Solicitation? Yeah. Big okay. difference. Between. We weren't loitering because we actually bought coffee and donuts and right. sat there. So we were allowed to be on the premise. And using their Wi-Fi. Steal their Wi-Fi. Yeah. That was the whole idea. Yeah. It worked. Here we are. Look at how far we've come. Yes. I, I, we look like we're in the Blair Witch Project right now. <laughs> My first and primary concern is is I know people talk about we got to lock up the right tackle spot. I agree, right? But I saw Deion Dawkins again, and I'm not bagging on Deion Dawkins. I know I said I wouldn't talk poorly about Deion Dawkins. However, Deion Dawkins did look like, and I can think of three plays just from the Giants game, where he looked like he was filming a 1989 Jazzercise video, pumping his arms, to nothing, nothing, guy cut inside, every time, he go, he just, he go back, 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 waist bend, pop, guy cuts inside, that's dangerous, that's dangerous, I know he's a captain, and I know they take his contribution to the team very seriously, I know he's an important contributor, but there are some plays where Deion Dawkins just doesn't look like he remembers what he's been taught. I am so surprised that they didn't even entertain the thought of putting Maseki at left tackle and Dawkins at right even once it came. No, they Not never even, even hinted to it. No. Never even no. hinted to this it. Is, they went, it's like they went up to him and said, this is your job to lose. Mm-hmm. And he's given up a sack that would force the fumble in the Jets game. He was offsides twice today. Mm-hmm. You said he was, he well, was, he got, was punching he, in air. He needs that jump start. He's got to get a head start. On the speed rushers. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't know <clears throat> how much longer that 
the Buffalo Bills can hold their breath over that guy because every time he's not covered up by a tight end or there's an H back to that side or the running back goes over to chip, it gets I tough. hold my breath. It gets tough. I'm like, oh, there's nobody over there. There's nobody over there. There's nobody over there. Are they running power off the right side? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So, he's not. He's, he's a decent run blocker. I'm yes. not going to say he's not good yes. at run blocking. No, he's, he's, he's got a very important role on this team. But yeah. there's about five to six plays a game where something will happen. You're like, what are you doing? Like, what What are you doing? Uh-huh. You know, like you need that left tackle to be the most dependable player. Not necessarily even the best player. No. no he does, you never want to hear his name the entire broadcast. No. You just want your left tackle to be the most dependable player you know exactly what you're going to get from him and 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 Dawkins hasn't shown to me that you can he's dependable he's not predictable like that do you remember when we ranked the linemen during the summer yeah you want to do that real quick before we end this one I don't think it's any different (laughs) I don't think anything's any different I'm trying to remember who it was I mean I'll put the episode up yeah put it up there we haven't done this in a while okay Okay, so your list is Naseki, Dawkins, Feliciano, Ford, Ford, and Spain. Spain. All right, and mine goes Naseki, Feliciano, Spain, Ford at guard, and then Dawkins at five. Right. All right, so you got number six. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, so those were, I think I had Naseki, Feliciano. Because Morse was out. We didn't yeah, count Morse. Morse. Was out. Yeah, we didn't count so Morse. So if we redid it now, we do it. We, yeah. We so we had to right add now. Morris to this one, right? Morse. Uh, I, you know what? After the first game, I would have said Feliciano's number yep. one, Morse two. Yep. I want to flip it now. Morris and Feliciano. I, I'll put them one, one A, one B. They they are a tandem. They They're, are like so good. They're, They're like Hyde and They're like Hyde and Oh, my Boyer. God. Uh, yeah. Uh, Naseki, can we put Naseki third? He doesn't play the whole time. No, I mean that's what I'm saying. Is Spain three because that interior has not changed? No, ever. And and they've been very good. Now yeah. the only time that things weren't good was when uh, game one against the Jets because you can't run an interior uh, zone scheme on interior blitzes. Like it didn't take long for the Jets to figure out if we pressure them up the middle, they're you're not gonna be able to run inside. And when Gore's in the game, they're like, okay, well, they want to run that interior zone. All we have to do is blitz and it's gonna be wide open. Yeah. And that's what was covering up Gore. Yeah. Oh man. I am gonna say So we're good we're good on the first three though, right? We yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Morris yeah. Morris no. Feliciano. Yeah, Morris Feliciano in and Spain. Spain. Okay. Yep. Now here's my question as you're thinking mm-hmm. that. Because I know you already got an idea. Ford at right tackle or Dawkins at left tackle? Who do you like better? Because I think Naseki would be the next one. After, because he, because of how talented he is. Yeah. Oh, I got to take Dawkins at left tackle. I have to. I just... I We've seen Ford so infrequently. Not infrequently, but it's just... It's harder to determine his contribution just yet. I'm going off history with Dawkins. Yeah, We're just, he has a, two he, just finished. He so. has a longer uh, resume. Right. Than, uh, right. And that's funny, too, to see the amount of starts that the whole offensive line had prior to coming into the season. Mm-hmm. Dawkins, like, had him alone was, like, was like more than, like, three of the other linemen. Right. <laughs> it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, Feliciano's been a, a, a big surprise. Big, big surprise. But... You know, we when we got OG Bobby Johnson, that was what we That's thought was, okay, who's going to be the guy that comes along with him, right? Who's going <laughs> to be the Colts Lewinsky, lineman? We thought it was, yeah, I thought it was Lewinsky. Like, okay, who's going to be the Colts lineman that comes along? You know, like, it's just, you know it's coming. Again, I just, if we're talking about Ford at right tackle versus Dawkins at left tackle, um, we just know more about Dawkins than we do Ford. I'm not going to disagree with you because I – I've seen Daw- Dawkins or Ford take his lumps, and that's 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 expected of him. And I yeah. understand that. That's totally a well and good. He's played in his second game. Yeah. Dawkins is in his third year. Obviously, right. Dawkins is going to have a leg up on him. But when you have a guy that's been with the Bills as long as Dawkins has, he's been one of you know every line change that the Bills have had throughout camp and everything else. Dawkins is at left. Dawkins is at left. You want to mix in Long, Feliciano, 
Waddle was there for a little bit, and then you got yeah. Ford and, you know, all these other guys. You got Bates coming in. You got a couple of these other guys. Not really with the starters, but you know what I mean. Right. Dawkins is over there. Yeah. The fact that he has false start penalties, second year playing with Allen, it's not like they were changing quarterbacks and he couldn't get the read on the cadence. Well, you know, let's let's be real. We've talked about Spain, you know, possibly being a weak link. Feliciano is making the line calls right now. Who's next to him? Ford. Why isn't Ford getting false start penalties? Well, because he's next to Feliciano. What's Spain doing to help Dawkins? Tell him stories about Taylor Lewan and his mustache. <laughs> it was epic. It was pretty epic. Or however Spain talks. I don't know how a fridge sounds. <laughs>